Hi there, I see you. <laughs> but I'm so close to this little piece of artwork, I had to kind of force my head in here between just to say hi. Uh, this is a uh, illustration. It's, it's actually it's a painting, but it's called really an illustration. And it's the streets of Oakland. It's a uh, seven and a quarter by nine and a quarter on a uh, coal press uh, heavy duty illustration board. Uh, it was framed, but I took it out of the frame. I think it's safer to not have it in a frame. Uh, this was uh, painted uh, back in uh, 1983. Uh, this is uh, Oakland, California. Uh, this is a city uh, downtown uh, right in the heart of the city. Uh, these three buildings here do not exist when I painted this. There's big buildings on this side of the street, but on this side, this used to be uh, a small uh, 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 complexes, block complexes of stores and, and uh, uh, you know, uh, grocery stores and food marts and uh, all sorts of stuff. And then they tore all that out and it ended up a bunch of big vacant lots through here. And uh, so this building back here in the very back is uh, what did it, was already existed. These buildings back here existed. All this existed. All this street existed. And these old Victorian type, type of buildings right here existed. But these big high rise here did not exist. In this high rise here, this is showing the, uh, the Tribune building, which is a landmark in Oakland, the Oakland Tribune uh, newspaper building. Uh, you know, the, the uh, Hearst family owned it, you know, Patty Hearst and all that. This was the Tribune building of the Hearst family. Uh, this building back down here with a flag on it is the, uh, called the Cathedral Building. Uh, I did a mural contest for that one time at some, at some other time. This is, uh, shows a, a city bus, the transit system there, uh, running down the street. Uh, of course, this is 1983, so most of these cars you'll see have a kind of that air type of thing. All these cars aren't accurate vehicles. Some of it I use in a little bit of my own uh, imagination because I like, uh, you know, I don't, everything doesn't have to be the exact. The same way the people. Uh, this, like this figure here is a... Uh, uh, an ex-significant person in my life and I just added her right to the picture kind of, it's kind of a caricature of her uh, this here, this figure here was uh, taken off of a bronze statue that, sit, that sits in a park down this street here that sits in a park and this guy was one of the individuals that had a lot to do with the a development of the city of Oakland, and they put a bronze statue out there for, to him. So, and I didn't have no picture, so I just took that bronze statue and turned it into a, 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 a likeness of him. And of course, you know, the clothes and everything are, you know, just I just added whatever I want to add at my own whim. Uh, it's. Uh, why did you put the uh, the buildings in the big ones? Well, that's because these buildings were going to be exist. These buildings were going to. Uh, so I saw the architectural drawings because I've done a lot of what you call architectural renderings in in my time. Because at this time in my life, I was doing a lot of commercial art, a lot of logos, trademarks, uh, record albums, uh, all sorts of uh, posters and. Uh, uh, corporate identity type of things, everything from technical drawings to to uh, architectural renderings. So I knew what the city is doing because uh, uh, this painting was done by uh, the uh, city of Oakland and uh, the uh, telephone company was uh, having a contest where they wanted to show a city street and they wanted to show what the city street was going to look like. So they wanted all these buildings that did not exist, that were going to exist, to, to be oh. shown. To be shown. So 
That's why these buildings, I painted these buildings in. Uh, they're the exact likeness of the buildings when they finally did go in. That's what they look like. And But this was, bef when I did this, there was no buildings there at all. Only the trees and the cityscape and some of this little detail down in here where it goes off in a, uh, between the buildings, there's a street that goes off down in there. And there's a little, like, a little park where this statue is. And it's got a, uh, uh, the stairs that go down because uh, there's a subway entrance to the barge system that goes underneath the bay to San Francisco, which is across the bay. And then the barge system goes from San Francisco all the way up uh, into uh, Napa Valley and all the way up there. It's about a 75-mile uh, uh, transit system that's connected to San Francisco. So that's what this little area in here was. Uh, there's a... Uh, well, I don't know. There's I'm trying to see. There's, I believe that this here was a downtown parking garage. Uh, that's why it kind of looks like that. It has that kind of like decks of a parking garage. Uh, <clears throat> Pretty good snapshot of 1983. Yeah, it's uh, and of course I. This is not a snapshot. This is a rendering that I did, I, I, I went out and uh, sat on the street and did this drawing of these buildings. And of course, the cars I had to improvise because, you know, how traffic is constantly moving through. So <coughs> I kind of generalized the type of cars and put them in there, you know, like this car and this car is very much alike, just different colors, a little difference in the way the design around the, how the top of the car goes from the back windows. So there is a slight little difference. These are both two, two car, two door sedans. It's just like this look over here has a little bit of a, maybe like a Jag, a blue Jaguar. Here's a purple convertible, you know, uh, these all, most of these cars came out of my imagination. Uh, because like I said, the, the, the street traffic is so, you know, it's, unless I took a photograph and I did it, I sat on the street and did this little rough drawing. And then I took their plans to know what these buildings were going to look like and had to keep in mind that the Tribune building was over here and that Tribune building was going to reflect, at least I hopefully think it would reflect in this building here in the glass windows. So that's what you see is this reflection of the Tribune building. Uh, so most of this is out of my head, but using their plans of how they were going to do it. And, of course, I spent my most of my young life doing this type of stuff for uh, uh, clients. You know, uh, somebody would say, oh, we're going to build a house. We want to know what it's going to look like. We're going to do this. I want to know what it's going to look like. I have uh, lots of drawings and illustrations that I could show, but then I would bore you guys to death with just everyday commercial stuff. Uh, but this here is actually very much a, a complete illustrated painting on very heavy board. It's a, it's a fiber board. It's, a, it's like a cardboard, but it's so hard and dense. <coughs> this will last centuries, this cardboard. Uh, it's, it, it won't last forever, but it will last a long time. Uh, well, anyway, I'm going to uh, close up for now, and uh, I know you have missed seeing my beautiful mug here, so <laughs> I thought I'd at least give you one eyeball that you can see, showing my how fantastically gorgeous I am. Uh, but you guys, you take care, and uh, I'm going to catch you later. Well, well, I hope I'm not catching, but anyway, you know what I'm talking about. Bye-bye. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.